Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. In this video, we are going to talk about expanding expressions using using algebraic identities. Okay, uh, we can consider the expression in algebra that is 2x positive 3y whole square. Now we are going to expand this expression 2x positive 3y whole square by using an identity. Okay, before we are going to solve the problem. First, let us come to know about the identity that we are going to apply for this particular problem. Okay, now we can consider the algebraic identity a positive b whole square that is equal to a square positive 2ab positive b square. We all know about this identity. Okay, now let us come to know how we get this result on the right side a square positive 2ab positive b square for the one on the left side a positive b the whole square first let us come to know okay if you have a positive b the whole square it can be written as a positive b times a positive b so this is just like x square is equal to x times x or 2 square is equal to 2 times 2 like this a positive b the whole square is equal to a positive b times a positive b now what I am going to do is, I am just going to multiply a times a, then a times b. So this is the first I am going to do. Uh, on the, the second step, I'm, the second step I am going to do b positive a, then b positive b. Okay, now when you multiply a positive a will become a square, then a positive b will become a b. Now so b times a will become b a it can be written as a b and b times b will become b square so this positive a b positive a b they are like terms we can combine them we will be getting a square positive 2 a b positive b square so this is how we get the result a square positive 2 a b positive b square so for the one a positive b the whole square on the left side but when we have this algebraic identity a positive b the whole square always we, do, we don't have to do the steps uh, so what I've explained is so far like a positive b times a positive b uh, we just take uh, a and it has been multiplied by the expression a positive b a times a, a square a times b a b and then we multiply the expression a positive b by b that is b times a will become a b b times b become um, b square and then uh, we just add the like terms a b past ab past ab it becomes 2ab always uh, we don't have to do these steps to get uh, the result a square past 2ab past b square for a past b whole square and uh, we have to remember this identity a past b whole square is equal to a square past 2ab past b square because uh, i just want the students to understand so how we get the result a square past 2ab past b square for the one a past b whole square that's why i have explained this but always we have to remember so what is equal to a past b whole square so that is equal to a square positive a b positive b square okay okay now by using this identity how can we expand the expression so that uh, i already told you okay that we can discuss on the next page okay now we can uh, consider the uh, expression 2x positive 3y whole square now uh, we don't have to write uh, but uh, most of the people will write like this uh, 2x positive y times 2x positive 3y and then they will be multiplying 2x times 2x 2x times 3y 3x times 3y times 2x and 3y times 3y so we don't have to do this kind of steps for this one so for this one what we can do is we can uh, compare the given expression with uh, the algebraic identity a positive b the whole square so if you have a positive b the whole square uh, we have to write the result that is equal to a positive b whole square that is nothing but uh, a square positive 2ab positive b square now when we compare 2x positive 3y the whole square and a positive b the whole square we have um, 2x for a and for uh, b we have 3y so instead of a we have 2x and instead of b we have 3y in the given expression so now we are going to write the same result on the right side but instead of a we are going to apply 2x instead of b we are going to apply 3y now let us see how it comes so instead of a since we are going to apply 2x instead of a square we have to write 2x whole square 
positive 2 times instead of a we have to write 2x instead of b we have to write 3y positive 3y the whole square because we have uh, b square in the identity instead of b we have 3y so we write 3y the whole square the next step what we can do is we can apply this square for both 2 and x when you apply this square for 2 it will become 4 because 2 square will be equal to 2 times 2 that is 4 and when we apply the power 2 exponent 2 for x it will become x square and in the second step we can just multiply the numbers 2 times 2 4 and when you multiply 4 by 3 it will become 12 and then I multiply x and y it will become xy positive now we have square for 3y when you apply 3 square for both 3 and y uh, the 3 will become 9 because the value of 3 square is equal to 3 times 3 that will be equal to 9 when you apply square for y it will become 9y square so the expansion of the expression 2x positive 3y is equal to sorry 2x positive 3y whole square is equal to 4x square positive 12xy positive 9y square when we don't remember the identity a positive b the whole square is equal to a square positive 2ab positive b square uh, we have tried 2x positive 3y square is equal to 2x positive 3y times 2x positive 3y and then we have to multiply each term that will be a bit difficult uh, job uh, to expand this kind of expression but when you remember the identity a positive b the whole square easily we can expand any expression like 2x positive 3y whole square I hope the, now the students will be able to understand how to expand the given expression by using the identity a positive b the whole square uh, for more videos like this, please visit www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.